3D systems are the global manufacturer of 3D printers. Uh, they not only invented 3D printing 30 years ago, uh, the company remains a leader in 3D printing today. Um, the company makes the broadest range of 3D printers with seven different print engines that address virtually every 3D printing need. Uh, as you can see in the slide there, they have hundreds of performance materials, 1,300 patents, um, global footprint. We're 3D technology, and what we are, we're the authorized partner to 3D Systems in Ireland. We have uh, offices based in Galway and in Dublin with dedicated sales and engineering teams. Uh, we have commercial and technical support directly from 3D Systems, and we offer a full 3D printing solution, which includes the hardware, the service, consumables, maintenance, and a bureau service. We also have 3D CAD designers, and we sell Siemens 3D CAD modeling software. So basically what we can do for companies is they have an idea, we can help cost the idea, design it for them, uh, prototype it, and get them to low volume production, and everything in between. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a brief overview of five of the different technologies. The first here is color jet printing. Um, this is used for concept modeling, and you can see some of the, the images there are parts that are printed. We have some of these in our stand, 119 next to us here. So color jet printing helps bring ideas to life with vibrant color prints. And you can build, you can build parts with exceptional color resolution in an office-friendly printer. So this printer sits in an office. There's no um, health and safety requirements. Uh, it looks like a big photocopier. Um, it prints at one vertical inch per minute. It gives you the ability to compare alternative designs side by side, improve early design decisions that impact design and engineering activity, and reduce or eliminate costly design changes later on. The device uses a gypsum powder, which is like a plaster Paris material, and it actually uses HP inkjet cartridges similar to a paper printer. This, this type of printer is very popular with architects, uh, universities, product designers. The next technology is called multi-jet, and we have one of these on our stand today if you want to come over and have a look. So these this type of printer prints in an acrylic paste and cures with a UV light. Uh, it, 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 the print parts mimic injection molded parts. So you can print concept models and functional prototypes that are extremely accurate with high resolution and very tough. The multi-jet devices uh, use hundreds of jets to print plastic parts using materials that range from ABS-like plastics to polycarbonate-like optically clear parts. Um, these machines are used to check fitment, you can validate your CAD data, identify functional design revisions early, test form, fit and assembly, and a hands-on feedback of your designs. This is the most popular uh, printing technology that we sell. Very popular with medical device companies, universities, and so on. The third is SLA. So SLA uses a VAT of resin and an, and a a, a laser. Uh, basically, it's a process of producing parts layer by layer by using photopolymerization, a process by which light causes change of molecules to link together to form polymers. SLA uses the broadest range of materials in additive manufacturing. The large choice of available material properties enables the broadest range of applications. Uh, customers can choose from dozens of functional materials uh, and identify the material that best matches their the exact mechanical properties and optical specific optimal specifications. So as you can see here, you have high temperature material, you have optically clear, tough, there's a casting material for investment casting, and biocompatible. Uh, the fourth is SLS printing. So this is glass filled or aluminum filled nylon. Um, and SLS printers are the industry's benchmark for production grade additive manufacturing. Uh, you get real thermoplastic manufacturing with tough mechanical properties and complete freedom of design. This is an, an, an air duct example. So using vacuum forming or injection molding for, for the plastic body parts of this, uh, it requires 15 parts, five skews, three custom tools, and 10 assembly checks. Using an SLS printer, you have one part, no, one skew, no custom tools, and one assembly check. Um, so every aspect of the part is, is equally as strong when printed and there's no manual assembly. So you print in one piece with no supports. 
SLS printers are used, as you can see for hearing aids as well, um, mass customization. They're used for the Invisalign braces. The final slide I have, the slides I have here on direct metal printing. So you can now build fully functional metal parts in hours, as complex as you design them, and with the highest detail and precision. Uh, 3D systems machines have a patented counter-rotating roller that compacts five micron powder, creating high density parts. So basically, it's a, a bed of powder, and a laser centers um, based on the program that's put in for your design, and a counter-rotating roller compresses each layer, um, making the parts, they say, 99% dense. Density. This is an image um, of the printer. On the left you have what it looks like when it comes off the printer and on the right is after it's polished. So the key features of these machines, they have a robust system design and construction, a patented powder layering system, uh, integrated hands-off powder handling and global support and service including backup manufacturing. Uh, we'll be putting one of these machines uh, next week into a university here in Dublin, um, if anyone wants to actually go and see one. So you can print fully functional metal parts in hours. So from aerospace, engine component manufacturing, patient-specific implants, dental applications, conformal cooling and tooling inserts in jewelry. There's more than 15 alloys now, or 50 materials now tested. Uh, here's a sample, you've got copper, aluminium, uh, inconel, and there's three different titaniums, grade two, five, and 23. So you can increase the functionality and design of your products by no longer being bound to, re to manufacturing restrictions of CNC machining and casting. On the left, you have a jet fuel nozzle, and on the right, um, it's an artistic design, but I don't think you could do that with a CNC machine. Um, powders are so compact that, uh, that by the painted counter-rotating roller that it allows 150 wall 150 micron wall thickness, printed at 45 degree angle parts, and thin, intricate stems. Here you have an image of a two millimeter, geat with tw uh, two millimeter gear with 20 teeth, and a seat clamp holding a 16 power wire, all printed on a direct metal printer. This is an application um, for tooling, for conformal cooling holes. So usually you have straight holes from a CNC machine parts. The 3D printing creates an object from, uh, it, instead of removing material, it adds material, so from in to out. So this created twisting cooling channels, which cannot be created by any other method. Um, for this particular example, it improved the efficiency um, of cooling the tool by over 30%. Uh, the medical device market is a very large market, upcoming market for uh, 3D printing. Um, some of the orthopedic companies here in Ireland are already, uh, as you probably know, using these now. And uh, I don't think it's, it's not too far off before bespoke medical implants is, uh, is, is a norm. Um, well, thanks very much. As I said, we're at slide, our table 119. We have a 3D printer there with lots of parts. We have one of our CAD engineers who can also give you um, a demonstration on the printer or with the Siemens 3D CAD. Thank you.